Hello guys, Kudlis here and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be all about add-ons and which add-ons I'm using and I'm going to talk about what my configurations are and how they work basically. So a lot of you guys have been requesting videos about add-ons, about the user interface I have and um, some stuff like that. And I'm going to make three videos. This first one that you're watching right now is going to be all about my general add-ons. These I have right here. And then I'm also going to do a separate video on TSM, Trade Skill Manager, which is the auction house add-on that is super useful for, for quality of life. And I'm also going to do a video on my UI, basically uh, talking about LVUI and some, some neat little stuff like that. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you this on my mage eye, I believe. Uh, so let's, let's jump right in. Uh, add-ons, by the way, if you don't know, these are additions to your game that make you able to configure certain stuff. For example, your interface or, or you know, track damage or your threat or stuff like that, which is highly useful. Or give you functionality like chat functions, mailing functions, auction house functions or stuff like that, which is super nice. Or, or when you're gathering stuff. Haha. <laughs> so let's jump right in and start taking a look at them. So here we are on the moose. Hey. No, no follower missions there. Let's take a look at our add-ons. So to access them, you press your escape button to go into your game menu and you have your add-ons option right here next to your macros. And, ooh, you can see this red bar here, move anything. That's interesting. That's one of my add-ons right there. So you go into your add-ons option here, you get this oh, bar here. Uh, you can see the interface here is my LVUI, making it look a little different from yours, maybe. But uh, anyway, it functions basically the same way. So here, up here, you have the all or specific character options, which make you able to toggle specific add-ons for specific characters. Uh, for example, if you have a mage-only add-on, you can use it only on your mage and keep it dis disabled on your other characters, which is nice. You can also load out-of-date add-ons, as some add-ons basically they get outdated as the game get update, updated and uh, the add-ons do not. Um, so yeah. Let's start off at the top here. Action bar saver saves and restores your action bars. This one is really useful if you're changing specs or changing, um, yeah, changing between specs, I must say. Uh, so for example, you can have one bar set up in arcane mode uh, or in arcane spec. And if you change to your, your off spec, for example, frost or fire, you can have a separate bar set up uh, for, for those specs. So you don't have to basically pull your, your um, Ah, your key bindings down here, or your keys down here to, to the action bar uh, separately each time you respec, which is really, really useful. Uh, the next add-on is Archie, Archaeology Assistant. This one is a bit different. It is um, help, helps you with, with archaeology. So as you can see down here to the left side of the screen, we have some some archaeology stuff. That's my archaeology skill right there. We have some fragments for 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 Draenor, as I'm currently in Draenor. If I went to another zone, then these add-on or these markers here would be from the different crafts for for archaeology in those zones. On the right here, we have the closest uh, dig sites, depending on where I am in the world. We also have no items found. We have. Um, Basically a survey here, you're able to create your different uh, like completed archaeology fragments and you can also uh, do something with this one. I can't remember what that one is, but you can also survey manually from here. So as you can see down here on the map, there is a archaeology area right here, which you can activate by toggling uh, track dig sites down in your, your, your track like blah, bar here. Uh, so at the map, if you zoom out, you can see these dig sites are a couple of places in 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 Draenor, and I'm here in Talador. And let's jump down to this dig site right here. So you can see down on the map there are some surveys marked on the map. These are blue, uh, and that basically makes you able to see where you found uh, digs previously, which this add-on basically saves for you. Yeah, the add-ons also make you able to. Double click on the screen as a toggle whenever you are within a um, uh, within a survey area. Uh, so it will be really, really easy, f easy for you to uh, basically do these surveys here. And archaeology, you know, these these markers here uh, show you how far away you are from the current uh, the current dig site. So you can see that these uh, these like dots down here on the map they change basically how depending on how far you are from from the, the treasure. And here you see we found this one pretty pretty easily because of the, the add-on there. Oh, additional fragments, really, really nice, yeah. So if you're into archeology, span Archie is really, really useful. The next add-on is, oh, auto safari hat. This one basically uh, toggles on the uh, the toy 
uh, the safari hat for pet battles. Ooh, where is it? Uh, safari, come on, safari. There's this one, basically increasing your 10% increase in pet battle experience if you're in a, uh, a pet battle. It all just puts it on if, if you if you enter a pet battle. That's all the add-on does. Auto loot plus, really, really nice add-on. It basically just increases the speed of auto looting. Really super useful. You've seen me using this in uh, my leveling videos. Auto turn in. Uh, this one is really useful as well. I am kind of went through do, dealing with this add-on when I made the super quick leveling video from 90 to 100. Um, it basically works like this. You can set it to enable or disable. You have quest to handle. You can set it to only handle daily quests, for example, um, or all quests. It can also works for for low level, que level quests as well. And you can basically determine what to do with rewards. Uh, so basically, you'll automatically accept quests, uh, or you can automatically turn in quests, and the the add-on will choose the reward for you. It's a bit risky in case you uh, want to uh, like micromanage all your, your loot, but if you want to level quickly then this one is really really useful. So I set this to all and here you can spec specify which uh, which items you want to uh, to get as rewards for uh, for the quests. So I have, since I'm a mage, I put on staves, ones, one-handed swords, and daggers uh, because these are the ones I can use. Uh, I also use cloth here. You can change to whatever armor the uh, the class you you have wear uh, wears. Uh, you can also add. A sh Why am I have a shields on? I no idea. I wanted to have back selected, and also your main attributes and the attributes you want secondary attributes. And if make sure you select this one though, uh, greed if nothing is found. And if if the add-on discovers that there are like du du duplicates uh, in the rewards, maybe there's a wand and a staff, you'll be able to choose manually. The next add-on is Bag Brother. Stores your character inventory, bank, vault, and guild bank so that you can may view them from anywhere. This is really nice. Uh, for example, let's open my bag. Let's do another add-on in the, in, at the same time. The bag non add-on. Single window displays for your inventory and bags. So these are my inventory add-ons. Uh, basically, bag on void storage, scrap, guild bank, and config. Uh, this makes the bag look like this. You'll be able to move it around pretty easily. And uh, you'll be able to do some search, uh, like here. Let's search for ha. Ah, there we have some some filtering going on. You can also do automatic uh, like cleanups, basically sorting your bags. And you can also uh, select your bags separately here. And this is the character here. You can go between all your characters because I have the the other add-on, so I can select my my paladin here. And whoop, I can see his add-on or his inventory right from this character. Super useful if you have many alts. Uh, like I do, as you can see here. Woohoo! Uh, so yeah, really, really useful add-on. Uh, additionally, if you like mouse over an item here, you can see the tooltips on the right side. And uh, let's select an item that I know I have on another character. For example, this one. Uh, fractured temporal crystal, as you can see down here next to like the, the mouse right now, you can see Akam has uh, three in his bags, Amberwall has 94 in, his, in her bags, and Andros has nine. So there's basically an overview over all your characters' uh, fractured temporal crystals across your account. Super useful add-on if you want to have a lot of alts. Next off, oh, I forgot to show you, by the way, you can resize uh, like this add-on here by clicking the configure option right there. And you'll be able to select the rows and select the frames and basically the backgrounds and stuff like that to... Basically, yeah, configure it however you want to, which is nice. I have it like this tall because then I'm able to use the uh, the height of my screen while still attaining uh, a great view over what else is going on at the at the same time. So next add-on is where click. No, it's Battle Pet Daily Tamer. Uh, this one is really nice for a method that I'm going to show you in another leveling video. Uh, so as you can see here, there are these markers here, uh, these green and these like orange marks right here. These show the available pet battles that you haven't done during uh, each day. Basically they reset uh, every every day when the daily is available. Really nice if you want to do pet battles. Uh, next off is click. Click is super useful and I'm using this in conjunction with grid. Grid, a compact grid of party raid unit uh, uh, frames and click is a simply a powerful click casting interface. So what click does is basically it functions as a uh, mouse over target uh, like casting effect. So down here we have this square here. This one is basically a, uh, a, a the the 
my 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 icon here in in a party. So if I'm joining a party or a raid, then this this bar will extend to add additional squares underneath and to the sides, uh, making it easy to heal, for example, uh, while in a group, and making the the party frames a little smaller on the screen, so you have more uh, more vision of of what is going on in with the action in the in the raid, for example. So here you can see I have a key binding Alt Left button uh, bound to my uh, my stuff. Uh, uh, to my remove cast curse or uh, cast remove curse, sorry. And um, I can also, if I press Alt and left click on this thing, then I, you can see me casting, casting that one. I also have a. If you're able to go in here and select, cl uh, click general options, frame blacklist, and Blizzard frame integration options. So frame blacklist, black <laughs> blacklist is the most important thing here. So you can basically turn off grid to not work on any other frames than grid, for example, by simply leaving uh, select all and then removing the grid layout for uh, or these options here for, for grid only. I also usually remove the option for focus uh, with LVI and stuff like that. So that's how you enable uh, you to keep this uh, this like regular select target uh, right click options while still attaining the, the functionality of, of grid and click. Uh, to, to bind uh, items or bind spells and click, you basically just uh, you click the spell binding you want to use. For example, if I want to click, uh, use, for example, five or six to cast blink, then I click six while hovering over blink here. Uh, so if I cast blink here, blink's a really terrible example though, uh, but now you can see blink is bound to six, and if I click six while uh, hovering ab above this one, then I will blink, okay? So that's how it works. I also have another thing with regards to to click, and that's the um, I know it's according to grid, a grid indicator corner icons. This is really super useful. It'll basically only create um, it'll create some icons uh, next to these uh, the corners here, signifying if the the character has a debuff, if they have a, a buff, or if they have something that needs uh, or a curse or something that needs to remove. And you can handle those pretty easily by. Sig Micromanaging the add-on here in the add-on interface, where next to grid, uh, oh, the plus button, and you have the icon corners down here. So you can set this to whatever you want to. Uh, so here you can see the oh the example here with the with the icons down there. If you can see them, they are pretty small, but they're really handy to have if you have a lot of raid members in your party or in your in your raid. So that's grid and grid and click. We also have. Cross realm assist. You see me using this one in my my uh, elixir of ancient knowledge um, lab video. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. I explain all of the add-on in that video, so I'm not really going to go over it in this one. It uh, basically works as a way to zone into other uh, other realms, so you can have, uh, for example, character item respawns happen in the world without you having to wait for respawns on your server. Um, Another important uh, add-on is Gatherer. Uh, Gatherer heads up display plugin. That's not really useful. Um, but Gatherer is an add-on that allows you to remember your gathering locations and view them on either of uh, either or or all your mi main map or your minimap or an on-screen display HUD. Uh, it also allows you to share with your, your finds with your guild, raid, or your friends. So if you have uh, members in your guild using this add-on, then they will basically... Small icons will appear on your, on your maps. I, where am I? I think I have some Nazroth here, maybe. Uh, let's check out Elven Forest. Um, no. Apparently not. Oh well. Anyway, display icons down here on the screen will show uh, gathering icons that uh, show whether people have found a mining node, for example, or a herb. And it'll display on your map where those respawn points are super useful. And uh, especially if, if you have a large guild, uh, basically. A whole lot of information is gathered on, on the maps, showing all the respawn points if you want to farm herbs. Super, super useful. So the next add-on is Handy Notes. Handy Notes is super useful for displaying notes on your maps. I also have an additional like sub-add-ons on this one. Handy Notes Draenor Treasures, Lore Walkers, and Lost and Found. These basically show you like hidden treasures in Draenor and on Pandaria. Which is useful for doing the the treasure finding item or the treasure finding achievements. For example, that re relates to getting your flying mounts in, in Draenor. Uh, where is it? Draenor Pathfinder. Here it is. You need to do, for example, um, uh, Draenor Treasure Hunter mission. Discover 200 rare treasures uh, in or Draenor. Ah, of Draenor. Uh, 200 treasures of Draenor. So this one is super useful to have if you want to do that achievement, which is essential to playing Dra World of Draenor. So yeah, one of the best add-ons in, in this expansion, in addition to, to Master Plan down here. So Handy Notes basically just displays 
uh, information on your map. For example, if I go to, uh, let's go to Pandaria here. Um, I need to be in, in the area, but here you can see, for example, this one, Jade Infused Blade right here. Um, it gives you information about the spawn points of this item. It gives you information about other spawn points of these treasures as well. Uh, super, super nice to have if you want to collect all that stuff. And I, unfortunately, have collected all the treasures in, in Draenor, so I can't really show them to you on this one. Ah, that's too bad. But they show you these, for example, uh, the drops from the elites here in Nagrand, uh, and also uh, the points for rocket fuels and stuff like that. Super, super nice add-on if you play Warlords of Draenor and also probably will be useful in Legion as well. Next, we have KG panels, and these are related to my UI, so I'll talk about them when I get to the UI video. Click the link on the, the thing that pops up right now if you want to jump to that video as well. Uh, whoa, well next off we have Master Plan, and Master Plan A, a vital part of any Master Plan. Stay cool, the alphabet has 28 more letters. Haha, <laughs> that's a pretty pretty nice arrow uh, add-on. It basically increases your, uh, it makes your garrison mission UI a lo lot, lot better. So as you can see here, this thing seems quite the same, but it will give you like additional uh, search features in your fleet and your characters, um, like your followers can be toggled um, and stuff like that. Let's head home to my garrison and I'll show you more about Master Plan, the best add-on in, in World of Draenor. So if you haven't been using this add-on, you've been doing yourself a great disservice here. For example, you can just go in here, click your space bar and it will also complete all your... Uh, all of your uh, your garrison missions for you super super nice add-on as well and to send people out on new missions you simply oh, let's just click down here you simply just right click on this point here and then just click uh, send tentative party members and then you're go good to go so that takes you about like 10 seconds or something like that really nice useful also works for your ships uh, with the recent updates uh, after after last summer oh the ship thing is still really buggy though the table here always infuriates me so uh, it'll auto-complete these, you have to click on your spacebar to, to do that, and you can just right-click on these and click Start Missions to, to send off your, your ships into whatever you wherever you want to. Really nice. So that's the master plan. Oh, where's the next one? Um, M. We have Mogget! Of course we have Mogget! That's a really, really useful as a transmogrification -mogrif assistant. So if you type slash Mogget in your, your chat bar, you will get this... this Ah, window up here. This one will probably not be as useful in Legion as we'll get the uh, the wardrobe functionality, but it's really useful to have when you want to search for new transmog items. So you can choose uh, whatever type you want to. You can look at all the, for example, here I choose staves, uh, staves, <laughs> staves, uh, and you get the like a site of. Oh, we can resize this this screen as well. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. So you can see all the pole arms here. And all the maces and all the good stuff here. And you can filter, uh, if you go into catalog here, you can filter, you can sort the race, you can change to make it a certain color, for example. Here we have white, all all the white weapons with some white tinges. Uh, you can also sort it to have, if you change the colors, you can choose it to be, like, like let's make it black, for example. And it will have all the stuff with black things in it. So if you want to make a color transmog, uh, then you can go in uh, and do that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like this, ooh, and uh, you can use the filters here. Uh, you can also change your race to uh, whatever you want to, to look at. For example, at Worgen, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can also change enchants here, genders, race, uh, whatever you want to, to do. And also you can go and select the filters here if you are below a certain level range, if you are alliance or whore, because there are spe specific gear for each, each uh, faction. There are also specific gear for classes, for example, uh, tier sets and stuff. Make sure you have these selected here in the filters next to catalog, okay? Uh, you can create sets with the previews here, so you can show preview, and here you can basically save uh, different sets that you want to have. For example, this one is a transmog I made a couple of, like, a like, few months ago, and if you want to add a new piece of gear to this, you can basically select add to set or create a wish, wish list, basically that creates this star here, and we can add it to a set, and it'll basically, that piece of gear will show up in that set, so you can keep track of all the different sets you want to have and gather gear for. Really nice add-on if you want to do some transmog stuff, yeah! Next add-on is... Hoo -hoo -hoo. Move anything. This was the one you saw here in the middle of the screen. Move anything, if I click this one, this one relates to uh, basically the user interface as well though, but it will be able, you'll be able to move stuff like this. Uh, for example, here is the achievement, pa uh, achievement panel. 
If you select this, you can move wherever you want to have this one uh, spawn when you click the uh, the achievement button. So for example, if I, I move this one a bit and uh, then click my, my achievement hotkey, then it'll spawn up here. Uh, but I can move it to wherever I want to. Um, for example, I can move it uh, down here, for example, uh, and I can, if I then click my, my interface, then it'll pop there instead. So that's a way to move uh, your... Uh, like the the original Blizzard UI uh, UI stuff. Um, if you wanna, if you're not satisfied with uh, the way it works currently, so I, I enjoy this add-on quite a bit. It's really useful for you can remove the error error um, options in the middle of the screen here. I believe you can move those to the side uh, if they're annoying you popping up here in the middle. So that's really useful. I think you can search for error here. Let's do that. So error and warning display. You can move this one. If you don't want it to display in the middle of the screen, you can basically just hide it. And it'll never pop up again, which is really nice, but I'm going to keep it up just for safety. So yeah, really nice add-on here. Move anything. Keep it with you if you're annoyed by error messages, especially. Uh, we also have Omen. Omen is a threat-related add-on. It'll basically work as a, um, a way to track whether you're taking aggro from your tank while in a group. So let's just click the test node here to show you. Uh, here you can see the the amount of aggro you need to to uh, get above to to pull aggro from the tank, and you also have the uh, like the different segments here, uh, depending on whether you are below or above someone else on the threat meter. Just keep a uh, keep a look at that, especially if you're a tank or a DPS or a healer. You know, if you want to have an overview, uh, you can lock this to certain positions. You can um, select the the look of this thing. You can also just display when you want to show it, if you want to hide it when you go out of battles, for example. Uh, you can hide certain classes or pets. You can integrate pets into the hunter aggro. I don't think... Or, no, that's for for damage, I mean, sorry. Uh, you can also animate bars, turn this off if you have a poor performing PC, for example. You can reduce the amount of RAM it uses. Uh, there are also some, some add-ons you can do, uh, or you can basically click these to... Uh, to hide the omen or show omen and stuff like that and toggle o omen whether you want it on or off stuff like that And you also have the profiles. We'll talk about profiles after this because profiles If I didn't mention this previously in the video then profiles is one of the most important things with with add-ons um, as a whole Next we have oh, Let's go back to our <laughs> our add-ons here uh, We have pet battle teams and pet journal and Hans and Pokemon trainer so these are only important if you're doing pet battles. Pet battle teams basically gives you additional options in your collections tab. So it'll be make you able to... Oh, let's go to the pet journal here. And it'll give you this little thing up here. Let's make you able to select certain teams that you can switch between. So you don't have to manually drag these things out here to select a new pet for, team, for example. You also have additional filters here um, for, for searching through your, your pets. Which is really nice if you want to do that stuff. Uh, it also, uh, the other add-on here, uh, Pet Journal Enhanced, that was the one I, uh, this was the rarity of the enemy's pets in their tooltip, so when you're fighting, hunting pets, for example, you can see how rare they are, and get additional information on your, your pets that you're facing while in the battle, and Pokemon Trainer is a really, really nice additional add-on as well, because it makes you, it gives you like this overview of, um, of pets' weaknesses and, um, and um, strengths. So super nice if you're doing pet battles. Uh, scrap or in Postal first of all. Postal, I have this turned off because I use a similar functionality in TSM, in Trade Skill Manager. Uh, Postal is a really nice add-on if you want to send mail because it gives you the ability to instantly accept all mail in your inbox and then just you can send mail really efficiently. Scrap is an add-on that sells all your junk at the merchant. You can also turn on Scrap Spotlight and Scrap Options. It'll basically as you can see here, there are some marks here, these golden coins in my inventory here, above these grey items here. That basically marks these items as trash, or scrap, basically. And then when I visit a, a vendor, for example, if I go to my, my expedition yak here, uh, when I click this this vendor here, these things will automatically sell to this, this vendor here, as you can see. And that makes like. like getting rid of junk really easy. And I think it also has an auto-repair function, or there are many auto-repair um, add-ons you can use as well, but I prefer to manually do that because I always want to have control over my gold consumption. Uh, Storyline, you've seen me use this in Leveling Legacy. If you're not sure about this one, um, don't use it in conjunction with uh, auto turn-in because they will break each other. But auto storyline, basically a story-related uh, uh, add-on that makes questing a lot more uh, well modernized, and you can basically get a win window where uh, which uh, in 
includes a lot of information and storyline uh, from, from the quest givers. Which is delivered a little bit better than the current quest journal, I believe. And next off, we have Skada. Oh, I skipped. Did I skip something? No, I skipped Skada. Skada is uh, uh, this thing right here. The current fight damage. Uh, it's, it's a damage meter, basically. It, it will show you a lot of different tracking stuff. So you can track buffs, debuffs, damage. Um, you can track uh, whatever you want to, really. And it's fairly similar to another add-on called Recount, which is has been around for for ages. And if you're not using this one, then you probably should. So you can choose to see total, uh, like your total stuff, um, your total information from the last time you reset the add-on, or you can choose the current fight. I usually bring it on current current fight. And you can choose damage taken, damage done. Um, so you can see who takes a lot of damage in the fight. You can see how who takes less damage in the fight, stuff like that. And configuration options in this one. Oh, you can reset it by clicking the X. You can report stuff uh, by clicking the report button here. So I can, you can choose to whisper it to someone. You can post it in the channel, stuff like that. And you can also choose here wh which things you want to set it to, to to record. And also you have the uh, configuration options here, which involve uh, the windows, for example. You can choose how big they are, how... Uh, oh, there we go. The bars, which design you want, all that good stuff here. I basically just have it down here as a transparent and locked in the corner, which is nice. So Scala or Recount, use them interchangeably. I, I prefer Scala just because of the visuals, and I think it's fairly lightweight to use as well. Um, so Scala, that was Scala. Uh, let's talk about Tell Me When. Tell Me When, or uh, I, I should probably change this one to, to uh, the Aura add-on. But uh, Tell Me When is basically slash T TMW to bring up the options here. And it'll basically give you uh, like this these icons you can set out on the on the screen to track certain things so for example since i'm an arcane mage i want to track whether i get the the buffs from arcane blasts so i can trigger my arcane missiles for example uh, or or tra check how many of uh, my stacks of arcane charges i have here so arcane charge uh, i set this to display this icon here in the middle of the screen so it'll basically track the debuff and it'll show it to me whenever I, I get it. So that's pretty nice if you want to be aware of certain certain debuffs uh, that you should be aware of or uh, other important stuff. You can set it to be like boss specific, uh, combat specific. You can turn off things in here. Turn on notifications, for example. You can turn on and make the uh, icon fade. You can turn it to make it flash and stuff like that. And you can also give it make, it, make certain groups. I have two groups here, one for this one icon and one for this icon as well, so. It's a fairly complex add-on. I, I should probably change it out. But to make uh, the icons lock, you just type TMW again. And as you can see, when I use my Arcane Blast on this character here, you can see this icon pops up with a 1. That uh, means I have 1 charge. Uh, 2 charges. When I use Arcane uh, <laughs> arcane Orb here, you get 4 charges. And then I set it to basically glow. So I know I have uh, all of the charges active here up on the, on the screen. This makes it... Like, I don't have to watch my uh, my debuffs all the time. I just have this icon in the middle of the screen telling me what is going on. So I need, don't need to pay as much attention. Which is really nice if you're in a busy situation, I guess. Uh, Tidy Plates, you've seen me use this in my leveling videos as well. And Joy's Log Walks on Dark Shore. That's a funny flavor text right there. So we have Tidy Plates Hub, which is graphite gray theme, neon quattro theme, and gray. So, uh, tiny plates, you can sl write slash tiny plates in your action bar, ooh, in your action bar, in your chat bar here, and you can select a different theme depending on um, depending on which spec you're in. So in my arcane spec, I have neon, I have neon and frost theme as well. Uh, so if I approach some enemies here, uh, ooh, let's let's go, uh, basically uh, this will change the way you look at uh, their, their, their health. So as you can see above this one, um, there we have the moonbark agent text, and when I turn on my, my my bars, you can see that it changes to, to this. And it's a big improvement over the, the default ones in, in World of Warcraft. So I can change this to, um, let's see, Tidy Plates. Let's change the arcane theme to, uh, for example, graphite. Then it'll turn uh, into a bar like this. If I turn it into gray, we have this this green square, uh, green square, gray square. And Quatre will give you a square like like this one. I, I prefer Quatre to be honest. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, you can also change profiles uh, depending on your, if you're a healer or a tank or a damage dealer, for some, for example. You can also change it to friendly nameplates, um, so you can see this this on your your friends. 
as well. Really nice. You can exclude certain NPCs and players, uh, and this is basically... It has a lot of functionality, and I really, really like um, Titan Plates, although I haven't really delved into too many specifications there. Next up is TomTom. TomTom works in conjunction with a lot of add-ons. It's basically a portable navigation assistant. It gives you coordinations, basically, as you can see down here, we have uh, some some information on where I have my mouse. So you can see my mouse varies, uh, the coordinations depends on where I have my mouse on the map. And it's really useful for locating certain certain things. Uh, so you can type in, uh, for example, if you have external information from Wowhead, for example, about the location of a certain mob or a spawn point or a pet battle or a quest, then you can just type in the information on um, on the the site uh, by typing way and then the coordination, and then you'll have a arrow like this one here that shows you the way. So now my 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 Tom Tom is configured to work with. The Archie add-on, the archaeology add-on that we talked about previously. So it'll show me the closest uh, apex ex excavation site, um, basically down in Spires of Iraq. And it'll also show you how far you are, are away from that thing, and it'll show you an arrow so you know which direction you're going to take. It also works in conjunction with this, this guide here, um, which is another add-on that I'll talk about in a few seconds. Uh, let's go below. That's Trade School Master. We'll talk about that one in a later video. LVI. Wow Pro is this thing right here. And uh, Wow Pro is really, really useful if you want to quest. So, this add on is the. I don't think it's available via Curse. I'm not sure. You have to download it from. Uh, just search, Google it, and search for for uh, for this uh, Wow Pro guide if you if you want to use it. Come on, give me the, uh, give me the, uh, the guide list here. Uh, I think it's. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Wow Pro challenge. There we go. Uh, so here you'll be able to choose a, a lot of different guides depending on what you want to do. So you can choose leveling guide, achievement guides, leveling guides, professions, dailies, or world events. So let's say you want to do some quests in in Mount Hajal, for example. And if you select that one, and you click OK, or it basically just shows up here. Uh, so it basically just gives you the hints uh, to what to do next in the best order, and so you're able to you'll be able to do the quests in the preferred and professional order that you, you probably should. And it'll also tell you about certain items that you need for quests before starting a different area and stuff like that. And it also uh, interacts with the TomTom add-on, so these work in conjunction as well, in addition to, to archaeology. Uh, perhaps talk... Yeah, I'm not sure if these two interfere with each other, so maybe turn off the one of them if you want to work with the other. So if you're doing archaeology, turn off the WoW Pro add-on. If you're doing leveling, turn off the archaeology one. Uh, at least that's what I recommend to in avoid interaction errors or stuff like that. So this add-on is super nice. If you want to skip things manually, just right-click on this icon right here, and it'll skip to the next quest you want to want to get. So it should pop up automatically when you enter Stormwind and are at level 80. So I haven't really gotten that one yet. Uh, I think I I don't know 102 uh, like sequences uh, of of Mount Hajal out of 405. So it's really nice if you want to uh, like 100% all the zones and stuff like that. So just follow this add-on and you wanna you'll be in good shape. Okay. Zone finished! Zone finished for now. Feel free to go shopping at your favorite action ha auction house. Otherwise, move on to Taldor Guide. So, if you want to have an in game leveling guide, then by all means go ahead and use WoW Pro. Now we're getting close to the end, guys, so stick with me. Last add on here VEM, Voice Encounter Mods. This is my, uh, my preferred use of a raid guide add on, um, which is similar to Deadly Boss, boss Mods. Um, it basically gives you voice messages and some uh, indications of whether uh, certain boss mechanics happen. For example, if a boss uh, does an AoE attack or something you should be aware of, it give you a noise uh, awareness a sound uh, or some indications on the screen and it will tell you to do um, <laughs> will tell you what to do. So you don't have to think as much and remember all the stuff and uh, you can chill out a bit more. Makes life easier. And especially for hardcore raiding, this one is really, really necessary. Though people prefer, prefer uh, to use deadly boss modes a lot of times. Uh, but I, I believe they are used interchangeably. I think so, at least. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of all of my add-ons. If I missed someone, then please leave a comment to tell me what they were. If you have any recommendations to what you want me to cover, then or cover more, more in depth, then leave that in the comment section as well. And be sure to stick around for the other two videos that I'm showing you on the screen right now. Um, the one where I talk about LVI and my UI setup, and also the one 
with uh, the TSM, how to make a lot of lot of money with uh, with the auction house uh, playing and stuff like that, and quality of life in general with uh, with trade skill manager. Uh, also remember to subscribe and like and dislike the video if you haven't already done that because I love you and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I've been Crudeless and you've been awesome. Take care.